we're keeping an eye on a developing situation tonight. Some pharmacists at Walgreens and CVS have walked off the job. Those employees say they're tired of harsh working conditions. Now, that strike is not involving a lot of local uh, pharmacists, but News 3's Paul Wilcoxon spoke this afternoon with one local pharmacist, and he says the stress after the pandemic is still affecting many workers. It's been a very stressful couple of years for pharmacy. That's according to pharmacist and owner of Medicine or Pharmacy, John Hunter. He owns six locations, including the one in Carterville. Currently, there are two pharmacy schools in the area that are putting out a larger number of pharmacists every year than they ever have. So what's changed? Hunter says it's the workload he and his staff have faced since the pandemic that has led to others leaving the industry. There's really not much of a shortage of pharmacists per se in the area. However, COVID-19, the pandemic was very stressful on retail pharmacy in particular with the COVID vaccinations, uh, boosters, vac uh, COVID testing that had to be done. And that a lot of that fell on the pharmacist. Hunter says where he sees staffing issues when it comes to filling key positions is with those all important pharmacy technicians. Over the last three to six months, I would say it's really come to a head across uh, other chain pharmacies that we deal with on a daily basis where uh, we're seeing quite a few prescriptions being transferred to our pharmacy because patients are unable to get their prescriptions in a timely manner. But since the pandemic, Hunter says the role of the pharmacy technician has shifted and it's leaving some without the adequate training to fill the roles. Pharmacy technicians were given authorization by the State Board of Pharmacy to administer vaccinations as well as testing, which in years past was not something that they were typically able to do. And that increased work and the amount of stress dealing with the issues from the pandemic has led several people to leave the profession entirely. Without the actual support to to give them the ability to, to handle this increased workflow, I think a lot of pharmacy technicians have been looking at other industries to move into a, a lower stress environment to work. Reporting in Carterville, Paul Wilcoxon, News 3. So again, you might be hearing that Walgreens and CVS pharmacy workers are going on strike. We called around to several of our local stores. That's really not impacting any of our stores here in our region. Of course, we'll keep an eye on that, let you know if that strike does spread here locally.